Hey everyone, this is Hellhunter Part 3. Let's continue here. Hell, Hellhunter damn soul. And Alucard tells Elian that it's possible to reach any place from here. Like the capital and the catacombs of Oblivion. That's why they chose this area as a meeting place, after all. Right, so that's some important information. Also, I am going to mute my Amazon Echo. So it doesn't go off. To the capital. To the catacombs of oblivion. Alright, let's go to the catacombs. Here we go. Wait, let me make sure. Audacity. Audacity. Track view. Status line recording. Yes, okay. Hell, Hell hunter down. To the ca to the catacombs of oblivion. Just wanted to make sure I was recording. And let's go. Actually, let's... Saving. You saved the game. Just for good measure, and I'm healed. To the catacombs of oblivion. With the power of the soul of Wolf Relic, Elian covered the distance in no time. He arrives at the place. In the middle of a mountain chain, there's a cave entrance sheltered from the sun. Elian ventures inside it. Aside from the stagnant smell of death, this place gives him a horrible sensation. On the way, there's some candles which grant a dim light, better than nothing. Elian feels like he's being watched. Many bones, corpses, and rudimentary coffins are piled and stocked all over the place. But he already knows that there's no better place than this to find a nest of undead. He hears many steps, which become faster, and then jump. A group of ghouls arrive to welcome their guest. They are humanoid undead that unlike zombies, are fast and intelligent. Under their pale blue skin, their bones agitate and emerge out of their skin to be used as sharp weapons. They stare at Elian and emit feral noises. You have reached catacombs, 50 feet below ground. <clears throat> okay, that is very creepy. Um... Well, uh... Candles. Yeah, here we are. <clears throat> Those candles are still lit. Yet it's definitely not a place populated by people. Elian can sense some magic inside them. They have been crafted with a ritual. They will burn for centuries. Okay, then. Ghoul. Oh boy. The battle begins. Elian is getting slower. Elian is getting slower. There we go. The battle ends. Elian gains 120 experience points. Press con Candles. Bones. Most of them are humanoid bones, but he's not sure if they are human bones. Also, there are many bones from monsters as well. Oh dear. <clears throat> That's not good. Holes. On the walls, there are many rectangle-shaped holes. Inside them... There are the candles, along with many wooden coffins. Elian could swear he heard something moving inside one of the coffins. Uh. Bones. Holes. On the walls, there are many re Ghoul. <coughs> the battle begins. Elian is getting slower. Elian is getting slower. There we go. Use the, the wolf. battle ends. <clears throat> Elian gains 120 experience points. Press control to continue. Downward. To outside holes, bones. Up to out downward. 
You open life point. Less than 75% life points. He's a bit tired. You're back in the map. Two outs downward. <coughs> Elian descends to a path filled with coffins. Some of them are opened and empty. As he goes further, he hears some steps. Many steps, actually. They are there, all gathered in one place and covered from head to toe with linen cloths. There's a herd of mummies. They are too many. It seems impossible to pass behind them. Elian could even consider ignoring them. You have reached catacombs, 100 feet below ground. Oh my. I sound like zombies. All that moaning and groaning and... Ugh. Yeah, um... Don't... Don't play this or listen to this recording at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh my. They really, uh... They're really going at it, aren't they? Oh my. Now if only... Elian was a necromancer. Imagine the army that he could... <laughs> that he could control. Let's see, we got... Corpse. Elian uses his power and touches the corpse. He was in search of treasure inside the coffins. When he got close to those sarcophagi, they all came out. They were countless and surrounded him. Even if he tried to run away, it was too late. And they grabbed him. His limbs broke by the pressure, his neck as well. But not before his eyes were gouged out by their fingers. Ugh. Coffins. Probably those were mummies inside. There's even some closed coffins. But Elian is not interested in knowing what's inside. Mummy. <laughs> the battle begins. The enemy is getting strong. Yeah. The battle ends. Alien gains one hundred experience points. Press can. Elian slays a mummy. A few seconds later, the body returns to its previous state. The beads as well. And the mummy immediately stands up. If the mummies regenerate so fast, Elian will never be able to defeat them. He's forced to retire. There's probably an ongoing ritual which allows them to keep regenerating. <sighs> Downward, catacombs, 100 feet below ground. Corpse, downward. Let's just ignore the stuff here. In this area, Elian hears someone muttering. There's a humanoid being facing away. He's brewing something inside a cauldron, which is placed under a blue fire. A sort of stew is boiling and emits a nauseating smell. You have reached catacombs, 150 feet below ground. Saving point. You saved the game. Corpse. The battle begins. Elian is getting slower. Alien is getting slower. There we go. The battle ends.
Elian gains 120 experience points. Press can... Elian has been caught by surprise by that ghoul, which he's mistaken for a humanoid corpse. Why was it here? Saving point. You saved the game. Corpse. Wall. Corpse. Wall. What it seems to be is a bunch of ingredients hung on the wall. And there are holes in the wall as well that contain other ingredients. Those ingredients are old spices, bones, insects, meat from many creatures, entrails, and many other organs. Ugh. Goat skin. A goat skin is next to the wall. Elian checks the contents. Blood. He transfers the blood to his vials and gets two blood vials. That's nice. Wall. Goat skin. The goat skin is empty. Necromancer. Cauldron. Oh, there's the necromancer. Upward. Cauldron. Up downward. Saving point. You saved the game. Down. Up cauldron. Necromancer. Cauldron. Inside the cauldron, there's an almost black liquid which is boiling. On the surface, some ingredient slightly emerges. What Elian just saw is more than enough to make him desist from looking longer inside the cauldron. And what did I tell you? There is a... Necromancer. Here. That cauldron is actually the catalyst of a ritual. Elian realizes that the creature in front of him is a necromancer. If he attacks him now, he could kill him in one blow. Elian swiftly moves forward, but he fell into a trap. The necromancer suddenly turns around and, after picking something from the cauldron with his bare hands, he pulls it out and throws it at Elian. It's a giant scolopendra. It's still alive, and it wraps around Elian's body. Right away, the necromancer is ready to cast spells at will upon Elian. Monsters that can attack from many directions or that can grab Elian can be defeated faster, dodging them, rather than with brute force. The battle begins. Wait, she said... Alien is defeated. Ah. Seems like this is the end. <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the last saved game. Wait, so... You have reached Cata down upward cauldron. Necrom... Goats... The goat skin is empty. Necromancer. That cauldron is actually the catalyst of a ritual. The battle yeah. begins. Just dodge? Kind of confused here. Guess not. Alien is defeated. What the hell? Seems like this is the end. <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the last saved game. You have read down upward cauldron. Necromancer. Ca up downward. Can I just ignore this? Yeah, let's just ignore it. Just leave it alone. Alien keeps descending. The path is even deeper. After a long walk. Elian starts to hear a very annoying and continuous noise, which is caused by swarms of hellish locusts. They don't infest the crops, but rather human population. Luckily, they are stuck here. There's also a malevolent presence. 
Elian notices some statues with a wicked shape. They represent humanoid limbs, all twisted among themselves, and their union forms a humanoid shape. You have reached catacombs 300 feet below ground. Dried corpses. There's literally a pile of corpses. They are dried to bones. The cause must be those hellish locusts. Swarm of hellish locusts. The oh crap. Be- The battle ends. Elian gains 110 experience points. Presk. Okay. Swarm of hellish locusts. Oh, no, Battle again. Be- Battle ends. Elian gains 110 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Presk. Downward, dried chalks. Statue of the anathema. What the hell? Alien is defeated. Seems like this is the end. <laughs> Press the left hey, arrow to load the last saved. G- you have reached da- catacomb. Saving point. Da- oh, for f- Alien keeps descending. The path. You have reached dra- catacomb. Swarm of hellish locusts. The battle begins. Go away. The battle ends. Elian gains 110 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Thank you for that. Swarm of hellish locusts. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains what? Dried cork chalks. The only reason why there could be a bunch of chalk here is because they are used to trace figures on the floor or the walls. Probably for a ritual or something. Alright, let's not fight that statue. Dry downward. Elian can see an altar here. There's also some bookshelf. In front of the altar, there's a skeleton which still moves. But he's not an ordinary one. He's dressed and wears a cloak. He's reading a tome, and he emits an eerie fog. Elian fears that a lich stands before him, a powerful and undead sorcerer who sold his soul in exchange for power, knowledge, and eternal life. You have reached catacombs, 350 feet below ground. Bookshelves. Many books, tomes, and scrolls are stored here. Most of them are about black magic, necromancy, and rituals. There's also some books about anatomy and medicine. Elian checked all the scrolls, but the black scroll is not here. Narrow passage. 
downward, upward. Can I go back and save? So I can do that real quick. You have reached swarm of hellish oh, come on. The battle. Damn it! Alien is defeated. Uh, Seems hang on. like this is the Audacity. end. Audacity. Check. Okay, I'm back to where I was. Let's see if I'm recording. Status line recording. Click and yep. Hell, hell hundred. Piles of bones. There are many bones. They are piled like columns. Elian can't tell if that has been done for making some ritual, or if it's just for the sake of the macabre. Mm. Lich. Altar. Upward. Downward. Probably can't go down, can I? Upward. Downward. Oh, I can bypass it? Really? Elian can see webs everywhere. Even the ground is partially covered with them. One side hosts plenty of poisonous spiders which are human-sized. On the other side, there are swarms of huge flies. These monsters are way more dangerous than the previous ones. Elian knows that he has no need to proceed further for the sake of the mission. And probably all that lies beyond this point should stay uncharted. You have reached catacombs, 400 feet below ground. Downward, upward. Yes, I think there's more stuff here, but probably don't want to go there yet. You have reached narrow, downward, upward, altar. Elian won't be able to check the altar. Not until the lich is there. All right, so. Lich. You opened the menu page. Press back life points. 100% you're back in. You opened the inventory page. Five. Blood vial. You open. You're back in. Altar. Lich. Elian steps forward. The lich closes the tome and puts it on the altar. He turns toward Elian. The cavities of his skull emit a blue light. He invites Elian to surrender. In that way, it won't hurt when he will enslave his soul for eternity. Elian draws his sword and prepares to fight. Mm. The battle begins. I see. Alien is defeated. Seems like oh, this really? is the Come end. On. <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the last saved game. Uh, can we just? You have reached cat downward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already been through here. Blah blah blah. Alien keeps descending the path. <sighs> you have reached swarm of hellish locusts. The battle. Yeah, I'm the not a battle fan ends. Of this combat system. Early in game. Downward. Yeah, let's go down here. Elian can see an altar here. Okay. There's all. You have books. Many bo piles of their up. Lich. Elian's. Battle begin. Elian is getting weaker. Elian is getting slower. Damn it. Elian is defeated. Oh, come on. Seems like this is the end. <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the Hang last on. saved. Get you. Oh, of course, I have to fight this stupid thing. Pile Lich. Elian steps forward. The Lich. 
battle be The enemy is getting strong. Alien is getting weak. Alien is getting slower. Alien is defeated. Really? Why? Seems like this is the end. <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the last saved game. Yeah. Press the right arrow to go back to Hell Hunter. Exit. Audacity. Track. Uh, I'm uh, take a break. We'll just uh, continue this later. Okay, let's try this again. I am back. This is the next day. But of course, if you're listening to the recording, you won't be able to tell. And uh, I feel a, a, a lot better now. Let's try fighting the Lich again. Now, I did find out if you go back up, you can fight the swarm of locusts and you can get more blood vials, though the drop rate is kind of low. But you can. HH2 Hellhunter. Hell Battle background. You're back in the map. Upward. Alter. Lich. Let's try this again. Elian steps forward. The Lich closes the tome. The battle begins. Alien is getting weak. Alien is getting slower. The enemy is getting strong. The enemy is getting strong. The enemy is getting strong. Alien is getting weak. Alien is getting. The enemy is getting... The enemy is getting strong. The enemy is getting strong. Oh. The battle ends. Well, damn. Alien gains 450 experience points. Press control to con- The Lich crumbles. Just to be reborn from his ashes. A bond with his phylactery grants him eternal life. No matter how many times Elian can defeat the Lich. So he retreats before things get worse. Elian must find his phylactery. It must be hidden somewhere in the catacombs, in a safe place. Ugh. Altar, lich, or upward, downward, narrow passage, bookshelves. Hang on. You open life points, 100%. You're back in the piles of bones. You opened the inventory page, one, blood vial. You are, you're back in the map. Of course, I used way too many blood vials there. I had nine of them. Bookshelf, pile, narrow, down, narrow passage. Elian could pass here with the help of the wolf relic. Yet he thinks that it's not a good idea to enter such a narrow space. Not in this place. Anyway, it's probable that he doesn't need to descend further in order to find the Black Scroll. Bookshelf. Many books, tomes, and scrolls are stored here. Pile, lit, altar, upward. Got to fight the statue. Please don't tell me I have to fight the statue. You have reached Swarm Catacombs, 300 feet below ground. Yeah, come on. Downward, upward. You have saving catacombs, 
150 feet below ground. Wait. Audacity. Audacity. Track. Status line recording. Yeah. Help. Help. Downward. Saving. You saved the gate. Down. Upward. Cauldron. Necromancer. We're gonna fight this necromancer? That cauldron is actually the catalyst of a ritual. Fine. The battle begins. <laughs> Battle ends. Elian gains 200 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Presk. Elian frees himself from the Scolopendra and with a slash cuts the throat of the necromancer, which dissolves into dust. Elian extinguishes the blue flame under the cauldron. The ritual is stopped. Okay. Upward, cauldron, up, downward, save, you saved the game, corpse, wall, goat skin, cauldron, upward, Cor goat, the goat skin is empty, wall, what it seems to be is a bunch of ingredients hung on the wall, and there are holes in the wall as well that contain other ingredients, those ingredients are old spices, bones, insects, meat from many creatures, Entrails, and many other organs. Corpse. Well, I can't do anything with that anymore. Saving port down, upward cauldron. How did that giant scolopendra fit inside the cauldron anyway? Actually, it's even more insane, the fact that it was still alive. In any case, the ritual has been stopped. Upward, down, save, you save, down. Let's see, so we go back down here. You have reached Swarp Catacombs, 300 we'll feet do this below again. ground. Downward, upward, statue of the anathema. Oh, yeah. Is defeated. What? Seems like this is the end. Wait, you can't destroy that? <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the last saved game. You have downward, upward, cauldron. Upward, down. Hmm. You have swore catacombs. 300 feet, but downward, swarm of hellish locusts. I can't fight those anymore. Dried swarm of hellish locusts. The battle. Let's see if we can get some more blood vials. The battle ends. Alien gains what? Swarm of dried corpse downward. Don't want to fight the statue. Um. You have reached now. Kataku downward, upward, altar. Elian won't be able to check the altar. Not until the Lich is there. Lich. It's not a good idea to attack the Lich again. Not until Elian finds his phylactery and destroys it. Piles of bones. There are many bones. They are piled like columns. Elian can't tell if that has been done for making some ritual, 
or if it's just for the sake of the macabre. Bookshell. Many books, tomes and scrolls are stored here. Most of them are about black magic, necromancy and rituals. There's also some books about anatomy and medicine. Elian checked all the scrolls, but the black scroll is not here. Hmm. Narrow passage. Elian could pass here with the help of the wolf downward. I guess I can't go down here. There's probably nothing here except for more. Elian can see webs everywhere. Even the ground is partially covered with them. One side hosts plenty of poisonous spiders which are human-sized. On the other side, there are swarms of huge flies. These monsters are way more dangerous than the previous ones. Elian knows that he has no need to proceed further for the sake of the mission, and probably all that lies beyond this point should stay uncharted. Yeah, I think this is for later. Cause you have reached Katak downward, upward. There's post-game stuff. Um, let me go back up here. Now, I did receive a message yesterday. You have reached narrow Katak downward, upward. Some information. Let me go back up here and save. And you have reached war catacombs downward, upward. Let's go back up here. You have read safe. You saved the game. I'll be right back. Audacity. Audacity. Track view table. Okay, so yeah, it looks like I have to go back to the mummies. Hell hunter damn soul. Hell hunter damn soul. Um. Downward. Save. You saved the down. Upward. So we gotta go through here. And we gotta do this. You have read core. Catac coffin. Mummy. The battle begin. <coughs> The enemy is getting strong. Okay, I've told the battle four. ends. Alien gains one coffin, mummy, mummy. The battle begins. The enemy is getting strong. Okay, there's two. The battle ends. Except I need more Alien blood vials. Gains one. Mummy. Coffins. Probably those were mummies inside. There's even some closed coffins. Yeah, okay. Mum, mummy. Sarcophagi. There are still too many mummies. Elian can't even get one step closer. Mummy. Alright, number three. The battle begins. The enemy is getting stronger. Okay. The battle ends. Alien gains one mummy. And this is number four. The battle big. The enemy is getting strong. Okay. The battle ends. Alien gains. Mummy, mummy, upward, downward, corpse, coffin, mummy, coffin, mum, mum, sarcophagus. Finally, Elian can reach the sarcophagus. He decides to open its heavy lid. On first glance, it's empty. But among the darkness, Elian notices a weird item. It could be a phylactery, since they are often bound to a lich and considering the place. Elian doesn't hesitate and cuts it with his sword. <laughs> Mummy, 
sarcophagus. The magic stopped flowing through the cut phylactery. Which means that asshole can be destroyed. M- mummy, coffin, core, downward. Alright, let's do this, boys. Well, boys and girls. You have read sick. You saved the game. Because you never know, there might be some girls listening to this. Downward. Even though it's probably very, uh, very rare, I think. But, uh, you know. Um, let me see. You opened the inventory page. One. Blood vo- You opened your back. Saving po- You saved the game. Um, you know what I might try to do? Is get some more blood vials <coughs> because I'm running low. Start with Hell Hunter Audacity. Audacity. So I will uh, go kill some locusts and see what I can do. All right, so I got some more blood vials. I have four. We'll just have to hope that's enough. Um. You have read narrow cat downward, upward, altar, lich. We'll just have to hope that's enough. Uh, I also found out that you can kill the statue, but you don't get anything ex except for some experience. It might load blood vials. <clears throat> I doubt it. Uh, anyway, let's let's see if we can attack this guy again. Alien launches toward the lich. He broke a phylactery, so he won't have to worry about his resurrection. The lich won't let Alien escape. The battle. The enemy is getting strong. Uh. The enemy is getting strong. Alien is getting weak. Alien is getting slower. Alien is defeated. Well, let's try Seems it. like this is the end. <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the last save. save. Right by him. You have read down catacomb. Well, let's see if I can get one more blood vial before we, we have to face him. You have a swarm of hellish locusts. Why not? The battle begins. I just realized I just used mine to heal, but it's okay. The battle okay. ends. Alien gate down. Of course not. All right. Well, let's, let's try it. Let's try it anyway. <clears throat> you have narrowed down. Cap up altar. Lich. Alien launches toward the lich. He broke a phylacter. Yeah, we know. The battle begins. Alien is getting weaker. Alien is getting slower. Alien is getting. Alien is getting slow. Alien is getting weak. Alien is getting slow. Alien is getting weaker. Alien is getting slower. The enemy is getting... Alien is getting weaker. Alien is getting slower. The enemy is getting... Alien, Alien is getting slow. There we go. The gotcha, you asshole. Yeah. 
Rebellion gains 450 experience points. Press control to continue. Yeah, fuck you. With a powerful blow, Elian splits his skull in half. A blast of blue light forces Elian to cover his eyes. When the darkness returns to dominate this place, he can see on the ground just his cloak. Elian didn't even sense his death. The reason is because no soul has had to abandon its dead body. That is what people get when they come to the conclusion that there's something which has a greater value than their soul. Nothing. All right. Upward, altar, piles of bones, bookshelf, pi altar, upward, downward, up, altar. Aside from the tome on the altar, there's nothing. Yet, there's something below. Under the altar, Elian finds some scrolls, and one of them is the Black Scroll. This place is very dangerous. It's not wise to descend further. Also, Elian accomplished his mission, so he should talk to Alucard. <sighs> Upward. Let's get the fuck out of here. You have reached Swar Catacombs, 300 feet below ground. Downward, upward. Let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. You have reached Save. You save. Down, upward. Let's go up here. You have reached Down Catacombs, 100. Down, upward. Oh boy. You have reached catacombs. Fifty down to outside. The you have reached meeting point. Save tree. Medical. There's no transfusion bags left at the moment. Rock. Alucard. With the black scroll in his hand, Elian returns and gives it to Alucard. They check the content, but the language is ancient and unknown to Elian, but not to Alucard. Hence he starts to read and translates to Elian. It seems like it has been written centuries ago, and inside it is gathered priceless information about Dracula and his castle. Information of which not even Alucard was aware of. The relevant details are that, first of all, the castle of Dracula is not just a castle. It's an extension of Dracula's soul, and that explains its chaotic nature. Within the castle, Dracula can channel his will, so it's sentient and shares its perception to Dracula. There's more. Dracula perfected its structure with his knowledge and the advanced technology that only the Lord of Darkness owns. Basically, the castle is a supercomputer of incalculable power. It's fueled by a structure in part organic and in part electric. The merge with technology makes it immune to human technology, which includes missiles and any other form of weapon. Last but not least, the electric energy is gathered with a unique and exclusive system that only Dracula could ever use. A photovoltaic structure is merged with the matter of the castle. Dracula also exploits the vampire's weakness to the sun to increase the capacity of the conversion rate of solar energy up to 100% or more. That's quite shocking. Elian wonders if it's even possible to win against that thing. Alucard is thinking over a measure. The implication of that document and the information they already had mean that Dracula basically can be anywhere and he can perceive everything. Wherever there's human technology. Besides, nothing can harm him from outside the castle. The only way to win is lock the castle, enter it, 
and fight Dracula, but it's necessary to isolate Dracula from the castle itself also. The Lord of Darkness is not just an epithet. For centuries, Dracula has always reincarnated, and so he never dies for good. Alucard knows only one way to do that. He needs the power of time. He's going to borrow it from Galmoth, the god of time, which means he will have to fight him. That's not a feasible task for Elian. Alucard has other plans for him. Inside the scroll, there was other information about the group of vampires which has existed for centuries. During all this time, they searched for a way to defeat Dracula, and some decades ago, it seems like they found a solution. They are planning something big, step by step, and they meet periodically inside a mansion hidden in a secret location among the mountains. Those meetings are called Dark Assemblies, according to what the document says. They meet at each full moon. Elian must infiltrate that assembly to gather some information. To do that, he will need to steal the identity of one of the members. But it won't be a simple disguise, since he would be discovered in no time. He must craft a relic specifically made for this purpose. He needs a vampire essence to fuel the catalyst. The catalyst is the other component. To be precise, it is a part of the body of the vampire of whom Elian will borrow the identity. Alucard checked the list of the members, and the two closest are located in a stronghold and in a tower, respectively. Especially when sneaking inside the stronghold, Elian will probably need to transform into something small enough to not be seen and be able to fly, like a bat. There's some bat relic inside the catacombs, according to one paragraph of the scroll, about the structure of the catacombs. They are hidden in the same place in which there was a lich. Since Alucard told Elian many things all in one go, if he needs to hear briefly what he has to do again, then he can talk to him before he leaves for the Valley of the Timeless. Okay, then, so we got some more goals here. To the capital, to the catacomb, to the lake stronghold, to the chaos tower, to the mansion. Saving point. You saved the game. Looks like we have some more tasks to do. Tree. Medical kit. There's no transfu- Of course there's no blood vials in there. You opened the inventory page. One. Black scroll. It contains precious information about the Vampire Alliance and many other details. Press backspace. One. Wolf relic. One. Artifact. One. Secret document. One. Soul of Wolf. Received from Alucard. It strengthens the power of the wolf relic and allows Elian to run very fast while transformed with no effort. Nothing. One. Soul. One. Secret document. One. Artifact. A powerful artifact which channels a space-time space. Oh, yeah. You opened your back. Rock. Med. Tree. Save it. You saved the game. Yeah, I think I'll do one more thing in this part, uh, and, and that is to get the bat relic. And I've been told how to do that. Let me go check that real quick, so I'll pause the recording. Audacity. Audacity. And let me make sure I am recording. Status line recording. Good, I am. All right, I'll be back. All right, let's go back down into the catacombs. Hell, hell hundred to the mansion. Saving point. You saved the game. To the mansion. Wait, the mansion? What's the mansion? To the chaos tower. To the lake stronghold. To the catacombs of a blip. Uh, can we skip this? No, I guess not. You Let's have reached down catacombs. Let's go down here. You have reached down. So creepy in here. You have reached catacombs. One hundred downward. Yes, yes, we know. Stop that creepy moaning. 
You have reached catacombs. Three hunt swarm of hellish locusts. No oh, crap, here we go again. Down. I guess I don't have to fight him that time. Alright. So this is the lich room. You have reached the catacomb. Piles. Altar. Upward. Down. Narrow passage. Alien as a wolf swiftly passes through the narrow path. From there he can proceed by foot through a long path. The way ends with an open space. Elian can see a group of blood skeletons wandering around. Their body is actual blood, shaped like a skeleton. Which is solidified, of course. Alucard warned him about the fact that they are stronger than normal monsters. He could attempt to avoid them, walking on the opposite side. Yeah, that's what you we'll You have do. reached catacombs, 500 feet below ground. Upward, pedestal. Now, I think this is what I want, so I'm just pressing the left arrow. On the pedestal, there's a relic. Elian is about to get the globe, but suddenly from the ceiling falls a giant creature. It's a bat! Elian dodges his attack just in time. That giant bat camouflaged itself with the ceiling due to the darkness which reigns supreme in those catacombs. Anyway, Elian won't allow it to surprise him any more and prepares for the battle. The battle begins. The enemy is getting faster. The enemy is getting fast. He has no more blood vials. Uh oh. The enemy is getting faster. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Alien is defeated. Seems like this is the end. What the hell? Press the left arrow to load the line. Let's try this again. I have one blood vial that I was able to grind. Took me a while. I also gained a level. Not sure if that matters, but here we go. On the pedestal, there's a relic. Elian yeah, is yeah, about yeah. to get yeah. the glow. Yeah, the yeah, battle yeah. begins. The enemy is getting faster. More than 75% life points. The enemy is getting faster. Ah. The enemy is getting faster. The enemy is getting faster. Less than 50% life points. Oh, good, it's dead. The battle ends. Now I can leave. Elian gains 300 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control to continue. Now Elian can get the relic. It's a dry bat wing. That must be the bat relic he was searching for. With the bat relic, Elian can now transform into a bat. In this way, he will be able to fly and reach many new places which were out of range before. In battle, he can now transform into a bat as well. To change into a bat shape, you follow the same rules as the wolf shape. As a bat, he will have more time to dodge enemy attacks. On the other hand, he will receive more damage in case he fails to dodge. The bat is more suited for battles against groups of monsters. It's suited also for monsters that can attack from many directions, or that are able to grab. To change from a shape to the other ones, you have to press shift. But since Elian has three different shapes, now the shapes will follow this order. Dampier, wolf, and then bat. While transformed, Elian won't be able to heal himself with blood vials. Alright. Upward. Let's get out of here. Uh, 
You have reached Bokatic Narrow, down, upward. Let's get out of here. I don't like this place. You have reached Swarkataku, downward, upward. Alright. You have reached down, upward. You have reached Katak downward, upward. Yeah, go away from the zombies. This you is have really reached creepy. downward to outside. Yeah, there we go. Back to the meeting place. And this is where I will end this part. I think. You have reached saving. You saved the game. There we go. Tree. Medical kit. There's no transfusion. Of course not. Rock. To the cat to the catacombs. To the lakes. To the chaos. T to the mansion. Saving point. To to to, to the cat to the capital. Rock. Medical kit. Tree. Saving point. You saved the game. Alright, well I think the next stop is gonna be the tower. And I'll do that in part three. Audacity. Audacity. See so you guys. Wait, let me make sure I'm recording. Status line recording. Yes I am. Alright. You guys take care.